Amniotic Band Sequence During intrauterine life, the entrapment of fetal body parts in fibrotic amniotic bands can cause deformities in the extremities, body wall, internal organs, and corneal facies. The clinical manifestation is highly variable and depends upon the location and the severity of the bands. In mild cases, only a single digit may be affected, while more severe cases can cause life-threatening complications. The most common clinical findings appear on the extremities and include abnormally short digits, constriction bands where there's a concentric depression around the digit, digital amputation, syndactyly, that is the fusion of adjacent fingers or toes, and talipsequinal varus, also known as clubfoot. Some other findings include facial clefts, spinal defects, lung hypoplasia, cardiac defects, and encephalocele. With few exceptions, it generally does not progress in severity following birth. However, marked vascular occlusion may occur due to a constriction band. Most cases are sporadic, with a low risk of recurrence in subsequent pregnancies. It may be detected prenatally via ultrasound, which can reveal bands of amnion and characteristic defects. Amniotic abnormalities alone, however, do not establish the diagnosis, which cannot be made in the absence of fetal structure abnormalities or restricted movement. If severe constriction rings are detected on prenatal ultrasound, they may potentially be released via surgical lysis while in utero. Postnatally, the diagnosis can be made based on the characteristic findings on physical examination. Investigation of the fresh fetal membranes and placenta can allow for the detection of amniotic strands, which may provide further evidence of the diagnosis. Postnatal management options include reconstructive surgery, for example to fix a cleft lip or club foot, prosthesis for an absent limb, and physical and occupational therapy. When constrictive bands cause lymphedema or vascular occlusion, then surgery should be performed immediately.